Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr and um, thought I'd do a video about this because it was something that um, was kind of messing with me today. I've had like a really rough week um, and just kind of just been really down and I was actually at work and <laughs> I was just kind of like, what is going on with me? Like I was kind of feeling like super like just really depressed and, and ups not upset, like crying upset, but just like, I guess like down upset, you know, just kind of about my life, um, just about all different things and just kind of wanting to, um, just thinking bad thoughts, like suicidal type things. Not like I'm ready to go like jump in front of a bus, but just, just very big downward spirally thoughts. And, um, I, ha I have the tendency to kind of talk to myself and at first I was like, Rachel, it's okay. You're just depressed. And I was like, Oh yeah, I am. Like that happens. But it was just kind of funny because it kind of like made me snap out of it. Because I was like, yeah, that's all it is, is I'm depressed right now. I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, basically wanted to get up. So it's okay to be depressed. It's okay to feel depressed. It's okay to think bad thoughts. Um, I used to, when I was younger especially, feel so bad that like I would make myself feel like horrible, like I shouldn't be having suicidal thoughts. I shouldn't have thoughts, you know, and um, desires slash feelings to want to hurt myself. You know, I, I would feel like I was just so messed up for having that. And the thing is, if, if you're like me um, and you have depression and um, suicidal thoughts and things like that, that's not bad. It's not ideal, <laughs> but it's not bad. You're not broken because you have that. Um, it's okay. It, it's okay that those thoughts enter your head. It's okay that you're depressed and that at this moment in time, like things are looking really bad. It's okay to have that. It's not okay is acting upon them. And I think the first step to really dealing with them is acknowledging them, acknowledging that, you know, Hey, I'm going through a, de a depressive phase right now. Okay, realizing what's happening. Because I think so often like we, we get in these like just downward spirals. And that's the thing is you have to stop that downward spiral. Okay, but you can't stop it if you don't even acknowledge that you're going down. Um, like you gotta stop it. Um, so it's kind of like pretty much how I dealt with today was it was, you know, as I was kind of going through the day, you know, and it was, you know, kind of take it. It was a hour by hour. I was at work and just kind of like, okay, this is what's going to happen this next hour. I'm going to do this, this, and this. Okay, and then when that hour's over, okay, now let's deal with this hour. This, this, and this. Okay, and as I was feeling really bad and, 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 and um, bad feelings and thoughts, I was just kind of like, okay, this is just the depression, Rachel. All right, it's making you want to do this and this. Um, what happens is, um, especially with my schizophrenia, um, it plays off the depression, so I have to avoid mirrors. Because if I look in the mirrors, I, I, I just, I, I just, I don't really. It's not. I just see myself bad, um, and it makes me want to like. I just hate myself. So that was one thing. Is like, okay, I'm depressed right now. Don't trust the mirror. Stay away from the mirrors. Um, you know, I, I was just. It just, you know, it, it sinks into everything. And just as, as I was having issues with things, I was just okay <laughs> talking myself through it and and to the point like you know my main thing was I had to when I was done with work I had to get home and lay down um I wasn't like worried that I was going to do anything bad but it was just like you know what I'm not mentally in a good place right now I need to go someplace where I'm safe home and then get into bed just where I know I can just go rest if I wasn't even tired but I was like I need to just go lay down um sure enough woke up feeling a whole lot better a couple hours later um, it was just kind of like, whoa, why was I thinking about doing all those crazy things earlier? <laughs> you know, it was just kind of like, so yeah, that's really all I want to hit on. Um, just cause it was something that really helped me get through today was just, you know, acknowledging and don't feel you're not broken. You're not messed up or anything because you have these thoughts. Um, they're not, you know, if you've out there and you've ever had intrusive thoughts, thoughts are just kind of like bust their way in and you're thinking, why am I thinking of doing this bad thing? All right acknowledge it like that's just what happens okay doesn't mean you have to act on them okay distract yourself when you're you know and these things for me today that was just kind of okay i'm at work so let's break down this hour okay if you're at home let me break down this hour okay what can i do you know to make it through this next hour all right you know one thing i would say get around people and get someplace safe
okay? Because sometimes someplace safe, if it's alone, mm, may not be the best thing for you. Um, live with my parents right now because I'm super cool. <laughs> Um, so yes, going home, um, I figured my mom or dad, dad's away right now, but, um, would probably be around, you know, so at least I have them as like a fail safe. So yeah, that's all. I just thought I'd make a video about it because I've definitely, today was a, a, a rough day, a rough day, a rough week. And then it's just today I actually realized why it was so rough. I don't know. Sometimes I guess I forget I have depression. Oh, I've been taking my pills though. I haven't forgot to take the pills. I just, you just forget. Um, so yeah, I'm Rachel Starr. If that helps anyone out there, awesome. Um, have a great night. I'm, yeah, gonna go now. Get some sleep. <laughs>